played until this week. Yeah, so <laughs> that now puts WNC up 2-0. Uh, I'm now hosting the, uh, mm -hmm. the next replay, and I believe that is a PVT between Sushi Knight for uh, WNC and Dark Matter for Team Shield Battery. Yep, and we'll see if if uh, WNC gets this win, win, go for a strong sweep, starting sweep for the for their first debut matchup, or will they will Shield Battery make a comeback? And we'll find out on this Wookie Team League Week Two cast between WNC and Shield Battery Game Three. Who will win? Who will bring home the gold for today? Let's find out. It's a <laughs> at the moment, it's a mm -hmm. do or die situation for Shield Battery, yeah, it so it'll does. be very interesting what they're going to pull out. Here we go. We'll find out. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you start this time. Alright. On the bottom, uh, we have the yellow uh, Protoss, Sushi Knight, representing uh, WNC. And then over in the top left position, uh, once again, this is a three, a three player map, mm -hmm. so the base are actually in a big triangle. We have Dark Matter, the Purple Terran. Yeah. And ha do you know, do you know any of these two players personally? Like, like have you played with them I've before? I've seen them online before, but mm -hmm. I've never actually played with them. So I don't have any experience with uh, these players, unfortunately. I probably have played them in the past, but mm -hmm. it's going to be one of those things where I've played them a long time ago and just not for a while. Right. And I think this is one of the maps where I don't think um, carriers are good for, because it is a very wide open map. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's not a lot of airspace on this map. Mm -hmm. So arbiters are more likely to be chosen purely on the basis of the amount of airspace around the main. Right. But I'm not sure if you want to show oh, the show there, the full map. There is a SCV that that wasn't doing anything for a while uh, on Dark Matters uh, on main Yeah, base. so it looks... Oh, no, yeah, oh, cause, no. Cause there is a re relay to those SCVs right left of those uh, of the CC. Yeah, so it looks like he was actually going to go out and build the wall. There is a zealot type wall in you can do, mm -hmm. but uh, it looks like he actually didn't do it. So he's actually going to be supply block for quite a while. His minerals are going to build up. So unless he goes for two barracks now, he's going to be a bit of a bad position. Uh, two barracks. The start. Yeah, I mean he could go for some kind of uh, two racks all in or something, but True. the fact he's been supply block now for quite a bit. He's only now just starting his eleventh or. I guess it'd be his 11th SCV. Uh, he's not in a good position to start the game off, especially against a, a nice and normal time gateway and gas for the process. Yeah, and we do see a core that's this thing going up for Sushi Knight. I believe this is still normal timings for a Protoss in a PVT. Now, there are yeah, some so cases where you could be super greedy, though. Yeah, I mean, Sushi Knight looks like he's playing super standard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like Dark Matt is playing standard as well. He's just a little bit further behind due to that early weird flub with his SCV. Yeah. I'm not sure if he sent his SCV and decided against maybe a walling, but his first supply depot was really late, so he's going to be... Yeah, so he's actually going to do that yeah. uh, little zealot and type wall in his main base. Dark Matter is sending his SCV to the wrong base location where it is, it's completely empty. So, it yes. may be a so he's going to get a late scout. Mm -hmm. late I mean, scout when he eventually maybe. does get into the processor base, you will see range going up. Uh, there's likely going to be a Dragoon started fairly shortly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, for the time being, Sushi is just going to be incredibly annoying with this probe. Yeah, uh, Sushi Knight is it's going to save his probe, because now the Marines is there. He may actually uh, cap in the natural, or he may just go back and just use that for his extra uh, mining. And, and finally, Dark Matter is going to the right scouting location, but it's going to be too late. By then, the Dragoon will be up, and I think it's going to chase after the Dragoon upgrade, range upgrade. Yeah, so, the, I mean, the range upgrade isn't going to finish in time, but the Dragoon may actually mm -hmm. be able to block the SCV here. Maybe not. I mean, the SCV, he's actually moving his, uh, moving his Dragoon straight up, wondering if uh, the SCV is already actually in his mm -hmm. base. So that's actually quite an interesting uh, foresight from him checking around his base for proxy factories 
one good thing about this map as well is just for the same reason Arbiters are very good, uh, there's a lot of things yeah. to cover with your main. Uh, you can also float a factory in from just outside from pretty much any angle. So uh, it's very possible he could have gone for something like, I know he he actually scouted his base, so he would have seen that um, this wasn't coming. I remember there was, it's always best to double check. there was a match where there was like a hidden max or factory where you could cheese this map as a Terran. I mean, there's been a lot of lot of maps like that, but one of the most notable ones I can think of is Fantasy on a few games on oh, match yeah. point. Yeah. Built the uh, factories, like two factories behind the third mineral only, mm -hmm. and uh, he used that as like a staging point to take out the Protoss main. I know people did that in TVT quite a lot as well. Um, Bravo actually did it, or I think his name was Hansen at the mm. time, actually did it against, I believe, I believe it was um, Baby that he failed because it was scouted, so... Yeah, and we do have a second Nexus going up for Sushi Knight. Uh, he's pumping out the Dragoons at the moment from off his two gates. The SCV is just... Uh, he's just chilling. He's, he's not getting sniped by... He's not being attacked nope. by Sushi Knight. The scary thing is here for Sushi Knight, he's got his range on his Dragoons, but there is actually an FD coming out from Dark Matter, and yeah. he's going to push these Dragoons back. There's a lot of Marines out, out actually, and that might be uh, that might be a reason for Dark Matter to just push out at this time, because there isn't that much yeah, so units. This is, this is basically, I believe, what they call a strong FD, so you get a lot of Marines. The second mm -hmm. tank's going to be coming up. Uh, he actually cancelled his second tank by the looks of it to get that vulture quicker. Mines are nearly completed, so when he gets further up the map, he's going to be able to mine behind the Dragoons if he's quick enough. And where there's no obs out as well, it's going to force him back into his natural at least. Observery is going up for Sushi Knight, uh, and the SCV scouts it. He sees it because the, the SCV is, is just there chilling. Um, Dark Matter gets his natural command center up, and we do see a push with the Vulture. The mine is up. Mine twice already. That's this last mine. And... So there was really nice micro there by Sushi actually yeah. taking out that mine. He's pulling back the damage Ragoons. He's killed most of the Marines, and this tank is in a dangerous position, but there are mines in the way now, so mm. it's going to be kind of hard for him to... Uh... Actually, he's going to turn around and come back in. This isn't oh, no! exactly the best decision. The tank. There's... Yeah, so there's actually five Dragoons that survived that early push, mm -hmm. and that was a, a dangerous place to move in with that tank. Even with Godlike Micro, he'd have a lot of trouble there. Yeah. Uh, it, it does look like Dark Matt is going to go straight up into three factories. He's going to add his engineering bay as well, just in case. I mean, his SCV does still see what's going on. Yeah, mate. I mean, he will actually see the Citadel of Doom going up, so... um. Mm -hmm. There's no crazy Reaver, Reaver tech switch here coming from Sushi Knight. He's probably going to move into Zealot Legs, go up to Templar Archives, and we could even see a two-base Arbiter here. And we do see two foams going after that SCV. Not anymore. Because uh, now he, he gets to sweep up with the Dragoons. But that SCV still saw the, the Adun um, building as well as Observery. So I think that could have been a... That, could, that, could, that SCV could have been taken out earlier. But with the Observer out, he sees the mines, he uses the Dragoons to defuse these mines easily. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if he's actually managed to make siege yet, because he's currently got an un-siege tank. Mm -hmm. And there's actually quite a lot of Dragoons coming out of um, Sushi Knight's base. They're going to go and clean up all the mines they can, and he'll probably take a third base behind this. Yeah. But uh, it would be interesting to see if Sushi Knight actually pushed across the map here. I guess they need to be a little bit more careful, because you just don't know how many mines there are. It looks like he's now getting um, speed for his vultures. Yeah, so. I don't think there is a siege <coughs> tank um, tech up yet, so he hasn't researched the siege tanks. He's just focusing on vultures right now, and you see the observers uh, going in to scouting the base. I think he must, have, he must have teched a siege now. <laughs> Uh, there's no way he would have forgotten Siege this long. Even if you're going for some kind of really crazy Vulture mm -hmm. uh, speed mine push, you would have done that a little bit earlier. I mean, he, uh, Sushi's now getting up the third base as well. Mine's cleaned up. The mine will see that that's going to go up soon. Yeah. But uh, there's not really too much Dark Knight I can actually do other than try and secure his own bases right now. Yes, uh, Sushi Knight with four gates at the moment. Uh, whereas Dark Matter still with two, two, three factories, two of them with machine shops. 
And I believe <coughs> there, he could expand so, out to that 12 o'clock position. Yeah, so we are going to see Arbiter Tech coming out from Sushi Knight, unlike F10, who are Macarius. Uh, the Templar Archives and the Stargate's going up at the same time. Mm. That'll lead them straight into... I mean, the... Uh, Dark Matter did a good job there of sniping Crowther was at the third. He pulls away, yeah. puts on a few mines to slow down the Dragoons. Uh, but he's going to need to try and move out at some point and try and secure that third gas base, which is uh, just in the... And, and, and oh, that is kind of smart, line. having mines placed in all the places, just, just as a form of scouting. Yeah, bases. so uh, mines are a great skill, and also uh, later on in the game they can really help slow down process moving. And if they just mindlessly rally out of their base, if you can manage to get mines in between and they don't pay attention, which uh, I'm likely thinking Sushi Knight probably will do. I mean, Sushi Knight's working at 290 dpm at the moment. Um, yeah. So it's it's something to bear in mind, though. Um, Mines are probably one of the most important tools for Terran that they have in TVP. They're going to try and put down as many mines as they can to delay the Protoss expanding. Obviously, you do have the Observer going around. Uh, they mm -hmm. will see all of this. Dark Matter goes up to five factories. He's not building off of all of them at the moment, but it looks like he's going to be saving up for a command center when he can. Yeah, so the command center is actually now flying over. He built that a little bit far back, actually, considering that... Um, He'll move out with his tanks Ooh, and try those, and get those Vultures trying to snipe those uh, probe exchange end up losing all the Vultures, but I don't know if they killed enough probes to, to call that cost effect. A success. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like he spent too many Vultures doing it, so pretty good trade, all considering mm -hmm. it's going to slow down the economy of the third, but it doesn't look like he got too many of the Vultures. Yeah. It looks like Sushi was doing a really good job of staying on top of making sure that probe train was safe. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he did split his Dragoons in, in some ways into half. And the Dragoons are just going out trying to see if there's any mines available to, you know, to defuse them so that it won't be a bother for them when they when he decides to push out. Yeah, so the Arbiter attacks up. He's uh, researching Stasis first before recall. But uh, this, this could mean he's probably going to likely use his uh, now six gates, possibly seven shortly. To sort of push across the map, stasis the tanks that Dark Matter has, and then maybe try and do an early kill on this third base. Yeah. In the meantime, he'll take this second natural, which will actually secure the second main as well. So, this is a very good move for Sushi Knight. It's going to be very, very difficult for Dark Matter, especially on the amount of tanks he is, uh, he's on at the moment, to really push out on the map. So, uh, Sushi Knight should be perfectly fine uh, to deal with this. He's actually going to leave six. Dragoon sets stop any vultures, but right now Dark Matter doesn't really have the vultures that he can spare either, because he needs to start building up to not only defend but eventually push out before Sushi Knight gets too big. Yeah, and there are some idle SCVs that he could be using at this moment, and, and the main and the natural. There's, I see at least three uh, idle SC four. Yeah, so one thing that one thing that Dark Matter has going for him right now is his plus one just finished. Uh, the Protoss currently doesn't have any upgrades, but now with the Arbiter coming out, the, the first Arbiter is actually out on the map now. I believe that that is the first one, yeah. So the first one's just popped. He's now developing recall as well, or upgrading recall, I guess. He's got mines outside of the fourth base for Sushi, so he does know that this is this base, I think. He's going to try and trap those Dragoons in. Uh, there is a observer over there. He's not going to be able to do any damage, but the least he can do is try and slow things down. Right, and uh, right now we do see that. I mean, he could always also recall those uh, dragoons, but those probes yeah. are now going at, going towards the new base, using those dragoons as as escorts. Meantime, He's also got the officer there as well. Uh, right. the, the vulture have been pushed back. He did actually lose, oh my god, a huge mine here actually goes off hitting three Dragoons, nearly killing all three of them actually, so that was a very good mine. Uh, he pulls out with most of the Vultures, and he's in a decent position to just carry on building up. Yeah. He's got his second plus one, well he's got plus two upgrading, and he's also got plus one on his armory as well, so he's in a decent position. His tank count's slowly growing, which he needs. But one thing he does need very shortly is some recall defense. So I'm looking all the way through his, uh, all of his bases, actually. Yeah, his and, third and, and, is and probably think, okay, but I there's think no both, mines in his main. Both players are ready to move out. Uh, I see 13 
13, uh, 14 tanks up for Dark Matter. We do see Zealots and Dragoons all ready to go with that one Arbiter, and I think both of them are going to go for a push. Uh, coming soon. I would have a strong feeling that he's waiting for Recall to actually finish. I'm just checking it just finished there, so we're more than likely going to see soon an Arbiter go across the map. He's going to use this OBS to scout into the main and find out where he can actually drop this Recall. And due to the positioning of um, Dark Matter's army to defend his third and his natural, a recall on the main is going to be very strong. There are some turrets. It, it, there's yeah, no there mines are, but, though, so. But there are ways to get around that, it seems. Yeah, there's uh, there's actually large gaps between the turrets. And yeah, and, and the army is gathered together. It, it, there is a sign of a recall that's going to happen soon. Yeah, uh, we, we can also see the Arbiter in the. 8 o'clock position, 9 yep. o'clock position now going up. It's going to go past this turret just as it finishes. And does, does Dark Matter spot it? There's no defense. He doesn't seem spotted. The recall didn't happen. Uh, it, didn't, it was not a full recall. There's still half the army in the field. But it takes out the starport first. The other thing is Dark Matter was a little bit slow on actually coming back into defensive base. So he could actually yeah. lose a lot of his depots here, which is going to be very annoying for him. And in the meantime... He may lose that armory that is actually uh, currently researching uh, tech upgrades. Yeah, so plus two has been cancelled. It looks like plus one defense may actually be cancelled as well if he's quick enough. He's going to focus down the science facility though, because without science facility and without vessels, his limited scans are eventually going to be uh, going to be used up. Looks like plus one defense does actually finish. At least seven, eight SCV kills. I'm, I'm just looking at right now. This so this is doing, recall, this is doing a this lot of damage. Incredible amount of damage, yeah. yeah. Another another thing to note as well behind this, Sushi's actually building a gameway farm at his six uh, sixth base. Uh, so Dark Man is going to have a big amount of trouble. Uh, the lack of recall defense is really hurt him in this game. Yeah. He does have a lot of tanks at the main base, and he will eventually clean this out, but. Now the problem comes. All those, all those buildings destroyed. Dark Matter so is a flight block. An, there's another, there's another arbiter coming. He's gonna recall on top of the tanks. Oh, oh no! And this we do have two high templars too. Do they have the storm tank? Uh, I don't think he has storm, but he doesn't need but it. But there is a GG. Yeah, he doesn't need it. And GG is cool. There we go. It and looks like Sushi Knight with some very strong Protoss play and a very couple of, well, a couple of very, very strong recalls mm -hmm. is actually going to take that to a 3-0 and uh, give WNC the win.